this is where as a parent I think the anger sets in okay and um, do you believe then that Nilo Devina knew Sunday that it was your son do you believe he knew the name because I understand as a parent of number one something big was happening people knew about it the school the school's head knew about it and the parents were kept in the dark I understand and then you come in way too late when you could have come in earlier to do what you can for your son that's right yes yeah, so it's that I understand the complexity of everything now that you're you're talking about the timeline no do you believe Nilo Devina knew that it was your son I, I don't know but he said he confirmed during the Senate hearing, hearing yeah. that uh, somebody, somebody reported to him that a certain Castillo, Castillo. has died. Yeah. So was he remiss in his duties as USD Dean, Law Dean? Because if he knew that a certain Castillo has died, do you believe it was his job? He should have, you know, Go on. He should have done something. should have at least looked for us, you know, or try to at least look for us, maybe tell us that uh, we have a, a, an idea, baka anak nyo to or what, you know, at, at the least. Was he negligent? So you feel, was he, it almost seems like if you were telling me he heard it from church, he was nagsisimba, yeah. that's what you said, diba? He was in the middle of a mass, may nag-report sa kanya siguro by text na may namatay. If you're telling me he didn't make an effort to call any of you, it means he treated the information not in an urgent fashion. Am I correct? Yeah. Because yeah. 10 o'clock in the Sunday, 10 o'clock in the evening, yeah. we, were we were still, still looking, looking for, for our him. son. And the fact and that we found him, him unidentified. In finding him in the funeral parlor all and, alone. There was nobody there. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, he asked the members of AG's juries not to go to class. What was, what do you make of that? Well. What I, was the purpose? I don't know what the purpose was. Because at the time I was, I was already blank. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I was already attending to my son. And uh, I didn't know what was going on. Okay. What charge did you file against Nilo Devina? Uh, not only me, uh, Miss uh, the Dean. Okay. And the forty others. And uh, uh, there were also others sort of okay. included. Okay. Yeah, but, but you not, can't. They can't have all the same charge, right? I I think all. For I think okay. for anti-hazing. For anti-hazing. Anti yes, anti-hazing. But you filed murder murder charges. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. With Nilo Devina, you didn't file murder charges. Yeah, that's, that's Did you? Uh, I think that's part of it. And uh, anti hazing okay. because uh, because of the death of our son. Okay. Because uh, you know people have asked this, and there's someone asking, so as to not weaken your case. Why are there murder charges when murder would be premeditated or intentional? I'm sure you've discussed this with your lawyer. Why do you think? Does it fall under murder? I think if there were no uh, murder because uh, if there are, I think, minimum of four or four or more people okay. beat somebody. Oh, okay. That would be tantamount to murder. Really? Okay. And, Kumbaga, it's a group against yes, one. Against okay. one. So I guess in this case, there were a lot of them who who did uh, the crime, okay. the hazing. Uh -oh. Okay. Has Nilo Devina contacted any of you? No. Not spoken with you at all? Uh, they went to the wake. Yes, so yeah. they went to the wake. Um, this is prior to the Senate yes. inquiry, right? So you so didn't know him? No, I didn't okay. know anything about it. So they went to the wake. They, uh, the U.S. They, they offered their condolences. alumni uh -huh. offered mass and offered their condolences. But that's about it. Oh, okay. Ikaw, Mini, do you believe he's liable, Sinilo Devina? 
because he's said in many interviews, uh, I, I, I was there, I'm, I'm, I can't remember if he said I'm not an active member of no, but, Aegis but the thing is, there was like, they should have done something. They have to answer the questions of how my son ended in the funeraria as an unidentified person. So, you know, answer that. Horatio, you were saying? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. We need answers. Yeah. But do you think, because the window of lunchtime uh, when Nilo Devina knew, I mean, from the time, so he was in Chinese General Hospital much earlier than Sunday lunch, clearly. Oh, uh, Maybe he was there, you said Sunday 9 in the morning. Uh, at you? Yes, or Saturday. Uh, I think it was brought Sunday morning. Brought to Chinese yeah, around, uh, around uh, eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight. Uh oh. Do you believe if you were contacted much earlier Saturday, it would have been different? Did the hospital tell you if he was dead or alive when he arrived, when he was brought in? What was the diagnosis of Chinese General Hospital? He was dead on arrival. They were trying to revive him. Revive him. Revive him. But they already went to rigor mortis. They were trying to intubate, but they had a hard time inserting that, uh, that instrument. Do you think it would have made a difference if he was brought to UST hospital instead? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. It's, Horatio, just, yeah. it's just a not all. Uh, five five minutes away and time is of the essence uh, maybe at that point that he collapsed let's say they bought him to UST he'd be alive zero by now everything right. would be different uh, now you know that the other I mean those charged are going on technicalities this is not in any way to um, lessen the loss that you're experiencing. Divina is now saying the fraternity was not accredited by the school. So he says the school is not liable. But you're not filing charges against the school, are you? Uh, we've not filed charges okay. for the school. Uh -oh. You filed charges against him. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Okay. Now, but do you believe, even if Divina says Aegis Juris is not accredited by the school, do you believe that he still has responsibility over if, it? If if this Jewish is not accredited, then why are, why are there the, the members Recruit. still recruiting? If you're not accredited, then you have no business recruiting uh, students to, to the fraternity. And why send flyers or pamphlets showing the faces of the officers and also the, the dean? You know, it's a, it's maybe it's just the form of a come on for you to, to be enticed to join. Ha, divina? In the pamphlet? Yeah. It's a pamphlet? Yes. yes. Okay. That was their come on. So people will be, people will uh, or students will will be uh, enticed to join. Uh oh. So um, uh, you also um, charged. This is what I want us to discuss no less than the law dean of usd who yes. is also a member of aegis juris yes. uh, attorney nilo devina you've accused uh, him or charged him of murder let's go through this i mean i've read the report but why do you think is he answerable horatio they have a lot of explaining to do okay go on he himself admitted that uh on that Sunday morning, they heard of a, 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 a neophyte. A neophyte has died. This was around, it, it says in the Senate transcript uh -oh. uh, that he knew about it lunchtime. This was Sunday. Sunday. Sunday lunchtime. He was hearing, I think he was hearing, hearing mass, mass or something. Okay. That time. And like, at that time, we were still waiting for our son to come, to arrive home. Yeah, yeah. No, because he told us he'd be home probably before lunch or maybe lunch time. So at that time, they already knew of a neophyte who died. Yeah. 
So, and then as the day went on, we were waiting. We were, I was calling him, no answer. And then that night, I called, you know, I'm really scared. I'm really worried. Psycho, let's go look for him. So he went to, Psycho, let's go to UST. We were roaming the streets of Manila. Manila. Oh my God. We're looking for our son. Oh my. Uh, uh, well, Sunday, huh? Sunday. 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 This, is, uh, this is Sunday, 6 o'clock in the evening. 6 o'clock in the evening. When our son did not report. Yeah. Not even a call or a text. So I, I told him, let's go. Maka nasa, naka-confine siya. Maybe he's in UST. And hindi mo alam na hazing nun? Wala kang idea? No, no, no. Okay. Wala kang idea. So we're looking for it. I really felt worried already. So I said, let's go to UST. He might be confined there. So we went there, uh, and then so from the hospital, maybe he's in the yeah. emergency. So iniikot nyo talaga? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. We even went to the their frat library. Because it's, it's there, eh, the it's address. Very, it's very near UST. It's Laong Laan Corner, Navarra. So we went there it was like around 11 or so in the evening. We were just waiting there. Maybe someone comes out or you know, mapagtanungan namin who, yeah. have they seen something or what and then wala, and then we decided to come home, baka say ko, okay I'll just wait, and then yun around 1 in the morning of Monday, this Monday already, yeah, yeah. early morning Monday, no, we got an anonymous text na si Horacio nasa CGH, uh, nasa CGH po si Horacio and then, then we started to call Chinese general, and you know, we found out na. Uh, you know, we, we I, asked. Go ahead. I, at first, we, we got the text. It said that uh, Horasha was in CGH. Uh -oh. yeah. So, you know, I got worried what CGH uh, yeah. is. But clearly, it's someone who knows your number. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's very hard to know the parents' number. I wouldn't know, you know. If that, I were a right. student, yeah, yeah. They have, they have information. Yeah. Uh -oh. On your your numbers, okay? A prepaid card, I'm presuming, text that you go on. Uh oh. And then, at first, I thought it was PGH. Oh. Maybe it's uh, to, misspelled. Uh oh. But my daughter said, Dad, that CGH is Chinese general. Okay. So... Minnie told me, oh, come on, let's, let's go, go to, to Chinese General, Chinese General oh. now. And then said, no, 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 I'll, no, call, no. I'll, I'll call the hospital first, just to confirm. So uh, we, we got the number of uh, Chinese General and tried to confirm if our son was there. Yeah. I gave him his uh, number. Yeah. I, uh, number. Okay. I gave him his, uh, yung, yung, ano yeah. yeah. yung, description. description. You described, yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. What they told me was somebody came in, uh, I think that was uh, mga sat, ano pa yan? Nine in the morning, eight or nine okay. in the morning. Somebody Sunday. came in and brought him. Brought him. Okay. Uh -oh. Did okay. they identify who brought him? It's Solana for sure? Uh, no, the, what, what they said was uh, that uh, Chinese looking guy okay. brought him in. And just left? And uh, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't okay. ask about that. But uh, what I asked was, so where is my son? son? And at that moment, my world stopped. Oh my! Is the, because the nurse? I, I wanted to know if he was alive or dead. Yeah. So, and then uh, what the nurse told me was, people from Soho already retrieve his body. That was, that it was, was very hard for that us. It was very hard for us, us to, to accept. accept. And here at that time. Knowing that he might be dead. But the nurse told me, not yet. You have to go to, to the funeraria. To this, uh, funeral uh, parlor. parlor in uh, Sampaloc. Sabina, just Sabina, sir, just to be sure, proceed to the Archangel Finger. funeral parlor. Okay. Clearly, she was, of course, softening the blow at that period because when you're picked up to the funeral parlor, 
you know that but, but her yeah oh, but God. her description okay that this unidentified male ah uh, she wasn't sure if that was him yes, yes. okay so, go on this yeah. unidentified male was wearing a political science uh yes ust oh my god yeah you know uh, acho is a graduate of uh political science yeah. and he loved that shirt he would yeah. always wear, wear that yeah. every night yeah yeah okay so maybe you wanted to add something you were um, saying so when we got there it's a funeral home so we were in a hurry we, i wanted to see if it was him so when the door opened from the funeral home i already saw his foot so i go oh my gosh that's his foot i saw his hands could it's his hands and the bad part was like he wasn't identified it says there an unidentified male so that was very hard for me if if that person didn't text me he would still be missing by now you're right yeah, yeah. he'd still be missing by a John Doe yeah yeah, that's yeah. so we wouldn't know where he where he is.